SmackDown, after a few weeks of improved ratings, uh, took a little bit of a hit, down 10% from last week, averaging 1.935 million viewers on Fox, the second lowest audience that SmackDown has done on Fox. And unfortunately for them, too, it may take a little bit more of a hit coming up here as uh, is some of those Fox affiliates that usually run SmackDown once again, much like last week, had uh, social unrest uh, and protest coverage and riot coverage that was taking place on Friday night, too. So once the final number comes out, we're going to have a uh, uh, it may be a little bit higher, but it may also be a little bit lower as well. So we'll have to kind of see where it stands there. I did mention uh, SmackDown on Friday. Didn't get a chance to watch it yet. Uh, But Jeff Hardy and Sheamus, no surprise, has been added to the pay-per-view. will be taking place on Sunday, June 14th. Uh, SmackDown opened with Hardy giving you a side of the story after last week's hit-and-run angle where Elias was hit by a car outside of the Performance Center. Hardy said, like, the last thing he could remember before being taken into custody was feeling like somebody hit him with an anvil. Hardy said he knew he didn't slip up, and eyewitnesses told police that the person who got out of his car and fled the scene had red hair and a red beard. So, uh, unless they have brought Rowan back and uh, put a wig on him, uh, that uh, it, it certainly sounds like it, it, it was Seamus there. And Seamus, of course, came out and and uh, said, told Hardy not to point fingers at him. Uh, told Hardy that he's always been blaming people his entire life for his problems and claimed that the eyewitnesses were the fans who, of course, lied to the police and and said that they were enabling Hardy on his behalf. So they went to all that. Hardy uh, then went to attack Sheamus but got beaten down by him, and there it goes. It's coming up June 14th. We'll, we'll get a match there, which I will assume is going to have some sort of uh, stipulation attached to it. Right now, it's scheduled to just be a singles match. I refuse to believe that they're going to leave it that way. Uh, also on that show, as it stands right now, Universal Champion Braun Strowman defending against Miz and Morrison, who I uh, believe, if I'm not mistaken from the clips I saw, had some had a field day uh, t- uh, taking their shots at uh, Braun, uh, which is fine with me. This is a ridiculous match. It's a whole ridiculous situation, and as fast as it will be over, I will be happy about that. Asuka against Nia Jax. The faster we can get Nia Jax out of there, too. I will be happy about that, uh, at least when it comes to this thing with Asuka here, too. Just give Asuka the win and let her move on to face anybody at all. And, uh, in fact, uh, whether that person is Charlotte coming back, who knows? We'll, we'll have to see what, what happens there. Uh, Drew McIntyre defending against Bobby Lashley and Edge against Randy Orton, of course, in the greatest wrestling match ever. Or at least uh, is they're hyping it up to be the possibility of it. So that's what's scheduled up right now for Backlash. 